I have to ask you, the uh, trial that the world is talking about, 34 convictions as far as felony charges, the man who will be probably by mid-July the Republican nominee to, uh, well, maybe be president in 2025 for part two of what was a very strange and very, very strange time, especially how it ended, first term for former President Donald Trump. I just cannot believe the twists and turns that this race has had. Uh, you know, this is a rematch, of course. This is President Trump's third time now, uh, consecutively. And uh, now having been convicted, he's a convicted felon and will be on election day. It's just, uh, it's, it's hard to believe. And then the polls don't move at all. You know, it, it, 48 to 48. And, and that's it. And, you know, there's going to be some third party people on the ballot and we'll see. But it's just, uh, you know, I'm not the first person to say it, but it, it, it's just unfortunate in a, in a nation of 300 million people that this is, uh, these are the two candidates that we have. Uh, President Biden with a 50 year career, uh, you know, at this stage in his life and his career uh, is in a different place, I think, than he would have been years ago. But, uh, you know, just it. It's, it's hard to believe that the, this presidential election is going to play out. And then, it, you know, it's probably going to be a toss up. It may not even be known on election night who won. It is kind of sad, though, is it not to see our political system on our country going through this right now? Yeah, the polarization is unfortunate. You know, they had that committee hearing on Capitol Hill the other day where everyone was yelling back and forth and uh, just the constant criticisms of of uh, one another as as politicians uh, the, the refusal to work together the you know whatever therefore i'm against it mentality that you see on both sides it's it's uh, it's really unfortunate